Okay, now here's a tip for those doing cutouts um, and <coughs> transferring a, a normal file, JPEG, into a PNG file so that it's transparent. Now what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to do spectacles. Now you can see there that you've got glasses. Now one of the things you can do is to, to cut out the glasses and you can leave a white line, uh, a, a, sorry, a blank space behind the glasses. But that's, you know, okay. Um, but when you put it in front of something, he's, he's not going to look like he's actually wearing glasses. Now, this one's a bit tricky because they're quite thin glasses, so the idea is to get it accurate. And another tip is to make sure that when you are cutting out, you just go a little bit beyond the uh, the actual image and, and take out the JPEG bleed. It's sort of like colouring in and not staying within the lines, but going a couple of millimetres outside the lines so that it comes out really good. Another tip is that you just saw me do in the corner of the glasses there, is you don't have to be 100% accurate to the photo. You've actually got to have something that looks right. And so by going a little bit further there and cutting out that bit of black stuff at the top, top left there, um, it'll look better. Um, and, and it's not exactly the way the picture is, but uh, you know it's, it's, it looks better when you're actually working on it. Okay, so we'll cut it out. Um, there he is. I'll cut a bit of it out. I'll, I'll finish it off, off later. But um, we cut out the, the, the uh, lassoed parts of it there. And uh, we get the transparent image there. And you can see that it's it's looking a bit better in the top left-hand corner. Now, what I usually do is I put a little transparent image on the glasses underneath. And um, so you just use a, a freeform shape. I go around the outside. Now, it doesn't have to be accurate here because it's going to go underneath the, the top layer. So you just trace around. And there it gets really fine here. But make sure it's in there. And there we go. Okay, so now we flick, um, we apply that, and then we flick the layers around. Um, so swap that back to there, and there's the black bit there itself. Now this program you can do it a couple of ways. Um, you can take the shape and make it transparent, or you can take the colour that you're using to fill it in and make it transparent. See what I've done there? Um, I prefer to use the the layering, but look, I mean, it, it's the same thing. And the idea is to just make it transparent, as you can see. You don't go too light, you don't go too dark. I think it's better to be a little bit on the, if you're going to error, go on the lighter side rather than the darker side. But, you know, it, it, it's much of a muchness. There we go, I've got about halfway. And um, once you put that in, there you go. That's how to do spectacles.